a chivin o chelam. Kala mahigat. Kohirik, could I just at the outset, Kohirik, extend a warm welcome in the visitors' gallery to the representatives of PANA, Peace and Neutrality Alliance, the Falcher Roiv. The ownership of the neutrality of Ireland rests with the Irish people, Minister, and with the Irish people only. The request, therefore, in this bill that, and I quote, war shall not be deterred and the state shall not participate in any war or other armed conflict, nor aid foreign powers in any way in preparation for war or other armed conflict or conduct of war or other armed conflict, save where it is immediately necessary in defence of the state <coughs> and with the assent of Dáil Éireann, unquote, should be welcomed, supported and enshrined in our constitution. The further call that, and again I quote, Ireland affirms that it is a neutral state. To this end, the state shall, in particular, maintain a policy of non-membership of military alliances, unquote, should similarly be welcomed and supported. This position, based on opinion polling, is the will of the Irish people. 57% of persons who responded to polling in February 2016 supported the enshrining of neutrality in our constitution. And I have every confidence that that percentage has grown in the period since. Over the past number of years, and under Fianna Fáil governments, every bit as much as under your own minister, there has been a distinct dilution of our status as a neutral country. This began with the use of Shannon Airport in the Iraq war in the early noughties and of course that unacceptable facilitation continues to this day and that is under your watch, Minister, and may I add, was under the Labour Party's watch who could have ended it when they sat in government in the previous mandate. This is an unforgivable situation. This facilitation has compromised Ireland's international standing. We are, in fact, accommodating interference in Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, Yemen, perhaps, and perhaps even in other countries across the Middle East and beyond that we're just not aware of. We're in the year, of course, of European elections. They are but a matter of weeks away. Europe is at a crossroads. Many of the so-called main players in the European project support moves towards the establishment of a European army. Minister, I fundamentally reject this position and so do my party, Sinn Féin. I wish to commend the work of the four Sinn Féin members of the European Parliament my constituency colleague Matt Carthy, Lynn Boylan representing the City of Dublin, Leonie Reardon representing Ireland South, and Martina Anderson, our representative of the six county community on this island. They have stood solidly and squarely against these moves at every turn within the opportunities open to them as members of the European Parliament. Minister, there was a time I would have believed that we all would hold to the view that Irish neutrality is precious. That, unfortunately, is no longer the case. Dilute it or give it away at your peril. There is no reason whatsoever not to call a referendum and allow the Irish people have their say. That would be the right thing to do enshrine neutrality in our constitution. Right. 